On this episode of China Uncensored, 2013 Top 10 Craziest Stories from China. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Let's send off 2013 with a look back at some of the craziest stories of the year. But first, let's take a moment to think back to where we were on December 21st, 2012, when the world most definitely did not come to an end. On to the countdown. Number 10, Mysterious Ooze. Beware the Ides of May. That's when over 500 feet of a mysterious, horrible-smelling ooze randomly started seeping through the cracks in the streets of Nanjing, a major city in southern China. That's almost two football fields long. No one figured out where it came from, but it was a big enough deal that even The Daily Show with Jon Stewart talked about it. And not to toot my own horn here, but they used a news clip I wrote. Number 9. Chinese Tourists Go Crazy this year, one of China's deputy prime ministers, Wang Yang, told Chinese tourists they really need to start behaving better abroad because they're making the country look bad. Chinese tourists responded with a photo shoot with this dolphin in Hainan, which shortly died from exposure, and this series of photos cooking endangered sea animals in the Paracel Islands, the center of a heated territorial dispute between China and Vietnam. Also, someone wrote Ding Jing Hao was here on a 3,000-year-old ancient Egyptian temple. I'm going to guess that it was Ding Jing Hao. Or maybe it was Banksy. Number 8. Beijing's Air Apocalypse. The year kicked off with record breaking air pollution in Beijing. The EPA measures PM2.5, that's tiny particulate matter in the air that can kill you, on a scale from 1 to 500. Beijing got 886. Another northern city, Harbin, recently hit 1,000. To give a point of comparison, the most polluted city in the U.S., Bakersfield, California, hit a record pollution high of 159 last year. Don't worry, though. Beijing authorities are tackling the pollution problem by banning outdoor barbecuing. Number 7. The New People's Daily Building is happy to see you. Number 6. A man sues his wife over plastic surgery. A Chinese man sued his wife after she gave birth to a very ugly baby. It was weird because she was really pretty. Turns out she had spent $100,000 on intensive plastic surgery before she met her husband and never told him. When the truth came out, he sued and won. He got a divorce, and she had to pay him $120,000. Number 5. Caught on camera. Some pretty embarrassing things were caught on camera this year in China. First, a Chinese official freaked out when he missed a flight. That was such a big story, CNN even covered it and snagged a little clip from my show. That same month, a police hit and run was caught on someone's dashboard cam. Then, a young woman threatened a security guard at a subway checkpoint. She told the guard she'd get her daddy to have him killed for putting her $20,000 handbag through an x-ray machine. Number 4. Sewer Pipe Baby Another one from May. A baby was rescued after it was discovered in a sewer pipe. The mother had just given birth to the child when she accidentally dropped it down a toilet. Don't worry, the baby was fine and was released back into the mother's custody. Number 3. They say what? Chinese state-run media and top officials sure do say the darndest things, like when Admiral Zheng Zhaozhong said he figured out the weak point of the U.S. Navy. Seaweed. Then an environmental official said the reason China suffers from such bad pollution is because they build green technology for the rest of the world. But don't worry too much about pollution, because just this month, CCTV gave us five reasons why pollution is a good thing, including that it makes people funnier. They're not suffocating, they're just laughing. Number 2. Execution Porn China executes more people than the rest of the world combined. But that makes China kind of sound bad. That's why state-run Xinhua ran a photo slideshow exposing the cruelty of the West in a spread called Actual Record of Female Inmates' Execution, exposing the world's darkest side. Turns out the photos were from an execution fetish porn. They took the article down. And finally, number one. This has been a particularly crazy year for news in China, but I think this one really brings home the bacon. In March, 16 thousand dead pigs mysteriously turned up in the Huangpu River, a major source of drinking water for Shanghai. They just kept coming and coming and coming. But don't worry, officials said the water was perfectly safe to drink. So that was my list of the top 10 craziest stories of the year from China. Which do you think were the craziest, or what would you add to the list? Also, be sure to check out my other video, the top 10 actually important stories from China this year. Thanks for making this an awesome year, and I hope all of you will have an excellent New Year's. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Check out the Facebook and Twitter page. I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.